Yo, Big E Astrology, Astro Weather, where you at? Where you at? Libra Moon, where you at? Wow. Wake Up Wednesday, the day of Mercury. Grand Rising, the moon is in Libra, 16 degrees, my knees for she's. We'll finish up around 22 on the East Coast, West Side. We'll finish up around 23 degrees. So, you know, listen, Venus is moving along quickly in Capricorn. We still have the Grand Earth Trine. Very nice with Mars, Uranus, and Lilith. Another six cents high download day. And so that's a good opportunity to really, like I said, bring things into reality, grounding in nature. And um, <clears throat> dare I say some introspection. Ah, that can be on the menu and the plate. Don't hesitate to be great. Let's not debate. Walk into your fate. Yeah, so this Libra moon is opposing Chiron, right? And so there's that opportunity to really do some inner work, healing that inner child. Find the harmony and peace by being able to communicate to the younger version of yourself and letting them know you see them, they're safe, you validate their feelings and emotions. And I work on this with my clients, birth chart reading, relationship coaching, or my astrological life coaching program. I take care of the people, I got you covered. But, you know, with this Libra moon, we're also seeing it squaring today Mercury and Mars and Capricorn. So we'll get to the chart. I'll explain what all that means. It is Wednesday. Writing, communicating, your emails, be busy at work, handle your BI. But take time for deep breath work. Walking the lungs in and out of the nose, okay? Because Gemini, Mercury, right? It rules the lungs, okay? And so it is also a good day for journaling as well. But remember, Mercury and the ruler of this moon, Venus, they're both in Capricorn. The cardinal earth sign, building, hardworking, discipline. Yeah, you kinda need those things in life, all right? So enjoy this day. We're going to get to the chizzy, chizzy chart. Aquarius, it's the last day, January 31st, but not the last day of your sale. The birth chart sale ends February 18th. So holla at your guy. Big astrology at gmail.com. Let's get to the chart for the astro weather. Pew. January 31st, wake up Wednesday, the day of Mercury. Peace. Wake up Wednesday, the day of Mercury. We're not looking at any particular ascendant, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, the beast in the east. I unleash nothing brief. I clean your teeth. <laughs> the lyrical sheaf or chic, the technique. So this Libra moon, yeah, 16 degrees. Um, it's in the second deacon. So just so you know, that's the Libra Aquarius deacon. So definitely there could be a lot of stuff about protesting and, and people really seeking balance and like not worrying about what the UN says and this and that. Like we need a ceasefire. You're trying to pull us into like World War III. Let's work on peace for humanity. All right, homie. I mean, come on. You know, I, I just hate we're all adults. We can agree that hospitals and women and kids being bombed and killed like daily it, it, it's just not <laughs> it's a genocide it, it's terrible i mean let, let's come on i don't know i i tell you yesterday the libra moon squaring venus was in action had a meeting at my son's school and dealing with foolishness racism and sexism never gets old in arizona ladies and gentlemen but i tell you i could feel spiritually the density and the low frequencies of the principal and then the uh, woman who was recording the meeting. The vice principal was a little bit spiritually curious and a higher frequency, but it was just powerful. I actually felt sad for them. Uh, but just don't mess with my kids. It's, you know, it's foolishness. So the Libra moon is squaring the south node. So remember what I was telling you? I'm sorry, conjunct. See that conjunction? Conjunction, junction. What's your function? <laughs> a little silly today. Make sure you reach out, email me today. I might give you some free astrological insight. And I should be on tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern live. I was gonna talk about the Aquarius moon, the current energy, but I may just ramp it up and do the Aquarius new moon. I will see.
because that's coming up, I believe, February 10th or 11th, I believe. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Big astrology is here for you. So remember, this moon is also opposing the Chiron and Aries and the North Node. So there's just this energy of I versus we going back to the childhood how can I initiate and be assertive, but at the same time be brave and courageous and peaceful and harmonious and fair? Well, it's time to be fair and just to yourself, compassion and empathy, okay? Saturn, Neptune, Pisces, Jupiter, Uranus, Taurus. Sorry, I should have gone back that way to show you the Saturn and Neptune. And remember, you still have the sextile of Saturn and Jupiter. So the great malefic and the great benefic are kind of talking to each other. And it's definitely trying to align your beliefs and philosophies with your spiritual spiritual practice grounding in your physical body and your self-worth okay five senses what do you need for survival food clothing shelter beyond that you're being greedy stop being greedy <laughs> shout out to dmx r.i.p to the prophet <laughs> I don't know if he was a prophet, but, you know, he was definitely a hoodologist. Um, but the Uranus, trying the Lilith and Virgo and trying the Mars in Capricorn. And see, look at that second deacon. So Aquarius, remember I told you it's pulling away. So today is the last day that you may still feel a little bit of this um, energy, you know, with the very psychological pain, trauma, really vitality feeling, you know, whatever. So th this this could still be a day of where we see some midweek Wednesday protests, right? The Mercury and Capricorn. Like what's going on with our government? Mercury conjunct Mars, the Mars trying Uranus and Lilith. What what's what's really happening? What's going on at the border with all these young 20 to 30 year old men with no wives and kids coming in? I mean, listen, I was all about like, you know, having a border to be not whatever. But, you know, you got to you can't just stick to one thought. You've got to kind of look and see how things adjust and change. And, yeah, we don't need borders, but we need borders when you're having men coming in from all different countries that could potentially be here for a war or starting a civil war or just straight up attacking Americans. Um, and why are they coming in and leaving from Texas and Arizona and stuff and just going to Chicago and New York and all these places and taking away uh, freedoms from the citizens in our country. I mean, you know, we really got to get back to putting America first. We spend and send too much of our taxpayer money. And this is not about Democrat or Republican. I'm always going to be an independent free thinker. Remember, I told you if I was a professor, my class would be free thinking 403. Uh-huh, four plus three is seven. Wake up, people. So the Venus, right? It's pulling away from the trine to Jupiter, but the Venus in Capricorn is definitely, you know, establishing, you know, really good savings, investments, your assets, right? And what I do like is that eventually it's going to try and this Lilith too. And remember, February 2nd, 13th, and 16th or 15th, I think it's 16th, you're going to see this whole party hit Pluto. Now, this will be the first time in over 250 years that Venus, Mercury, and Mars are conjunct Pluto in Aquarius. What does this mean? No earthling has experienced this. It is going to really make bold statements about our logistics, our AI, our technology, our need for humanity, philanthropic work, freedom, protests, valuing all people, power to the people. Yeah, that's what's going to be going down. February is going to be on fire going into early March in terms of what's going to really help and benefit all of humanity and the people. Mark my words, it's on the calendar. Get ready. Enjoy the last day of January because February is going to get hot in here. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be bad, people. But it's going to be real. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be love and gratitude. And it's going to be unapologetic in terms of stop the BS and respect this. And by the way, there's no draft in England or America with Gen Z because they're not fighting. 
them young folks are awakened and they don't want any part of it. And then they also have a lot of emotional and me mental issues too. So let's keep it real, baby. <laughs> I mean, who are we kidding? All right. So this Libra Moon definitely is definitely, definitely dealing with this energy. Um, even with the square to Mars and Mercury today in the conjunction to the South Node, where you can have some issues come back up in relationships with family. And there's opportunities to heal them, but then there's opportunities where if it is not for your highest and greatest good, if it's not spiritually aligned, purge, release, surrender, cut them off, detox it. There's no time for energy vampires. That, that, that time is dead. The idolatry of politicians and celebrities is dead. It's dead. You're a star. You're famous. I said it in a bunch of my videos, but I mean it, but you got to walk in it and claim it. These people ain't better than you. And they have a machine of the media and the programming and brainwashing behind them. I told my wife, the new Bob Marley movie, the guy, well, he doesn't look that much like him, but his accent is terrible. They were going to do it in the 90s. And I can tell you as an actor, I could be, I could definitely roll in to be for a biopic, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or Bob Marley. But why not get a Jamaican brother from Jamaica or Jamaican American to play Bob Marley in the movie? It's just lazy. Now, the Marley family may be behind it, I guess, but you know, you could get somebody that has an authentic, I mean, even in the clips, he goes in and out of the accent. It's disgusting. Come on. Ah, all we want in this life is peace, prosperity, and a little paper. I just want people to keep it real. I am like, I am so, you know, I told you, once I hit 50, I'm 53, and I'm feeling Pluto and Aquarius. I am just being real and authentic. I got no more time for BS. So have a great day. Rock the poetry. Spit the hominay. And remember with the sun, moon, trying coming off of last night. Yeah. All right, that's it. Enjoy. Libra Moon, it will enter Scorpio tomorrow around 12 noon Eastern for the next two and a half days, which will be Thursday, Friday, right? Half of Thursday, Friday and Saturday, 60 hours, the moon. And make sure you reach out to me, Aquarius Birth Chart Sale, Coffee Talk, February 17th. I'm doing Michael Jordan and Kurt Cobain. I decided it's going to be dope. So it's officially announced. I'll put up a graphic in community and I'll make the, or make wifey, uh, maybe wifey will make the real authentic graphic. And I'm going to announce the new service, Lilith and Chiron audio chart reading, breaking down your tribe, your rejection, your root chakra, your instincts, your physical body, the Lilith. Yeah. Okay. See, 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 black moon Lilith. Okay. That's the real Lilith. Not the one with the glyph, and that's Juno. Okay, this is the Ascalating Apogee in uh, Astro.com. It's H13 in miscellaneous. You put it in, and it shows you where you can face rejection. Chiron deals with the wounding, emotional, physical, or spiritual. This is a great service to really get you healed, but get you into your instincts, connecting to God's source energy, and to heal others as well. It's $71 audio chart reading Lilith Chiron combined to rock your mind. Biggie Astrology, one of the greatest of all time. Astro weather, January 31st, Wednesday, baby. Miracle I'm dancing, baby. I'm dancing. Peace. So that's the astro weather, Biggie Astrology. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Hit me up. Take advantage of your birth chart sale. $107. 65 minutes live over Zoom. And I used to say 60, but the reality is I, I do more. Um, and, you know, you can give me a tip or whatever if I go over. You know, I appreciate it because, you know, time is money. But I don't sure change my clients. I never do, never will. I'm nice with the pill. I kill at will. I spill and I chill. Well, y'all should have seen me in the 90s at house parties. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Yo, man. Sometimes they're not respect the length and elevation. And then when the boy gets to spit in the rhymes off the top of the head freestyle, then all the ladies, you know, hang around the boy. All the time. I'm just being authentic with me and being honest, okay? So, yeah. The Lilith Chiron, that's going to be live and soon, $71. 
hey, if you want to jump on it now, you can email me if you want to do it. You know, even though I haven't officially put it on my website or whatever, that may take some time. But Lilith and Chiron $71 breakdown audio chart, super, super dope. Videos of your placements, a little write up, but the audio chart breaking it all down and any major aspects to it for $71 bigly. Okay. Aquarius, birth chart sale, natal chart, so return secondary progression, 107, down from 125, or the big shebang, mini movie of your life, 40 to 50 minute custom video summary, $207 down from 260. Natal, solar return, secondary progression, plus audio transit, current and future transits, and videos of your planetary placements for both services. Come on, never, never purvis. What's the service? I don't even know to pick in the Super Bowl. Do they just want the Taylor Swift train to continue? Or do they want to usher in the XRP new currency, Niners? You pick. You decide. Either way, we all lose. <laughs> I just want a good game. I don't like when politics and other things invade my sports. Keep sports clean and sacred. Don't be fixing games and stuff. Ay Dios mio, people, nothing is sacred anymore in this world. The veils are lifted up. Just wait, September 1st and November 19th. That last time, Pluto and Capricorn. Huh. Yeah, it, you'll be lucky if it's an election and chances are it's Michelle Obama and or Gavin Newsom against Trump. Anything, anything can happen. Anything can happen when you're born in Manhattan. All right, so Big E Astrology, Astro Weather, January 31st, Libra Moon, finishing up around 22, 23 degrees, and it's going to be a good day. Be kind to yourself, love yourself, harmony, peace, all right? And that Libra Moon scoring Mars, there could be some irritation, arguments with the family, right? And kids not being disciplined, cleaning their room, doing their homework. Have patience, good people. Have patience. I love you. Astro Weather, Biggie Astrology. Check out the website, BiggieAstrology.com. Sign up for the newsletter. I'll do it more better. Mo' Better, baby. Did you ever see Mo' Better Blues? By the way, Spike Lee is a very underrated director. Worked on a few of his films. You could debate whether he's a good or bad guy, or whatever, but great director, great movies. Support that black man, Spike Lee. All right, Biggie Astrology. Later.